Okay, let's let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. Okay, let's, let's do it. It's been a little while since we've actually seen anything about our characters, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go back and look at this again. <laughs> let's see. So should we do should we do character recap first, or should we do or should we do setting recap? Let's do setting. Okay. Because that was we did that first, and it kind of helped us create our characters. Mm-hmm. So let's see, world building, we had, if we pop open the thing, so we had the old world, there was a sickness that ravaged the old world, um, and we took the ships, and then we land here and we burned all, we burned all our ships. That was our, that was our generations past. And then the iron, we have pillars of iron that riddle the land, and we have priests that worship them, um, and they and oh yeah, and I forgot, oh yeah, they, they mark the places of power. So those are the places where, where, where magic flows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then legacies, other before us, others before us, and the first bone. Their relics and ruins scatter the land. They're closely associated with iron pillars. Oh, I forgot. They didn't like to go near the iron pillars, and we were yeah, the, the only. Uh, the elves didn't like to go near the iron pillars, mm -hmm. which belonged to whatever lived here before even mm -hmm. they did. Yeah, and it's like shitty. It, it's shitty, and then we have the shitty land, and that's all that's left. We have we have yeah. shitty land, and the elves. And the other, the other, um, is it just the elves or what, what look? There's giants too. There's giants. Yes. I forgot. Man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, and then we have circles of small communities that dot the land. Uh, they each have different med methods of leadership, but we have the, the tribal leaders. And, and this was the whole Bengals mm -hmm. thing where they each have like Bengals, like these iron Bengals. Yes. Each one represents a circle that they control. That they control. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or, um, you know, protect control mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, and then defense we have the wandering wardens that protect the land you are one such warden uh warlords fight to recruit the group oh yeah, yeah that was part of my character's thing is that i'm trying to boss is trying, trying to, recruit. to recruit me yes yeah for 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 another one of the um the people yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah and then the wardens you, you are a warden and you have a weapon uh, did we say that all wardens had uh yeah. weapons with with the spirit of their ancestors in it Yes, because my, my friend with benefits also has one, and mm -hmm. uh, it is my 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 weapon sworn enemy is his weapon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because they hate each other. They're like grandparents yeah. that hate each other. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have mysticism, magic courses, the land, even the least knowledgeable can spell. Oh, yeah, this is like everybody uses magic, but it's... Mm -hmm. It's really problematic unless you know what you're doing, and that's where Boss comes in because he knows he knows what he's doing, mm -hmm. even though he doesn't really know what he's doing. Okay, uh, and then religion. The gods are many. Yeah, there's like gods everywhere, and then we say that they walk among us. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the firstborn. The, the old gods, the ones from the land. Mm, oh, yeah. Th these are gods of this land. Yeah. Of the new land. Perhaps the ones that the relics belong to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and then we have the firstborn. They're prevalent. Oh, and they hold sway. So these are the ones that have all the best lands, and then we're yep. pushed out to the shitty outlands. Yep, yeah, those are the elves, mm -hmm. or what I'm remembering as the elves. Yeah, I think those are the elves. And then we, I think we yeah. said we had giants, but they're yeah, like but giants in the north. Yeah, the they're north. like hermits. They're hermits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It, well, you're drinking something that seems far better than coffee. I'm gonna have to switch over. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then we uh, have. It's a brandy cordial. Do you, uh, yeah. Nah. yeah. Well, I, all I have to do is look over there, and I have this monstrous pile of alcohol. Okay. I mean, that's what happens when you throw a party. You get tons of free stuff. You know what? I just. Oh, so sad. No. Okay. Oh. I know. It's so sad. Let's see. Uh, beasts. They stalk the wilds and roam the forests. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so those are the in-between areas. Yeah. Where where the firstborn and the elves they have all the best spots inland, and then we have the shitty coastal regions and and the crappy spots next to the iron pillars, which nobody mm -hmm. nobody else wants except for us. And then the places where we can expand into are just fucking swarming with beasts. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's what my character does as she's mm -hmm. a beast slayer. Mm, I remember. And then we have horrors. They stalk the depths of the ruins. And they call out in voices of false gods. The stories are many that warn children away from the circles of power. Okay, yeah, so it's just all bad. We're, we're, yeah. We just, we live in really shitty places. Okay. Mm. That's awesome. One more thing yep. for the uh, for the warden to take care of. Okay. Yeah, but that also makes it, because the last part of that is strangers are looked at with scrutiny and mistrust. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we had a couple legends of people. We had, so number one is Grey Crag. That is, oh, this was like the home of your uh, your friend, Albin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is a large human circle community, and it's well established. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the larger ones in the area. And then two is Low Barrow. That's an elven raiding outpost. Oh, and this is who you know. This is the Otani the mm -hmm. Raider. Um, yes. And you get along with them, or I forget. Um, it was a bond, but I don't know if it was like a positive bond. It was a, a, a mutually was like beneficial a bond. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I wouldn't say I wouldn't say we're friends. But I mean, I definitely like his personality. I think mm -hmm. he likes my personality, but mm -hmm. you know, we we also don't want everyone to die. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Okay. And you know each other, and you at least respect the capabilities. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And my my characters are. Signe is hoping to use that connection that she has to mm -hmm. one day kind of open up conversations more and maybe be able to get humans to be able to live in some of the better places. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Cool. Okay. And then we had Kira's Hill. That was number three. And that's my mentor. My character, that's boss's mentor. And yeah. that's a, that's a hidden giant dwelling and it has a strong magical, magical connection. We don't know if mm -hmm. it has, one of those iron pillars or, or, or what, but it's, it's definitely powerful in the magics. Uh, and that's where Kira is at. And then yeah. four is Bleakstone. And that's the heavily fortified circle city built into a stone foundation. So this old oh, Bleakstone was where my bond was out of. Mm. That's where uh, your liege is. Mm -hmm. That was Emmeline, the iron queen with her five bangles who I've conned into thinking mm. that she needs my blood magic. I, yes, it's it's all coming back now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and while I'm here, I am already have my screen open. So we have uh, my bond, Kira the Giant, who's dying, but she's keeping a secret, and she won't tell me what it is, but I know she's trying to keep it from me. Uh, and mm -hmm. then Emmeline, who I've convinced that she needs my blood magic to make good choices. <clears throat> and now she is like analysis paralysis without me. So she like constantly mm. pulls boss back in. Um, and, but she sent, she sent me to go in and, uh, recruit Signe, uh, to her cause. Uh, and then my, my loving and very patient wife, uh, Melia, mm -hmm. who I tried to teach blood magic to went horribly wrong and now she's sick. So I have to find, I have to find a way to cure her. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then mm -hmm. how about Signe? What's, what's going on with Signe here? Let's see. <clears throat> So she's blade bound, so she has that magically imbued blade with mm -hmm. the soul of her ancestor, uh, which happens to be her, like, what do we say, great grandmother, mm -hmm. who was a iron worker, um, blacksmith. That was mm -hmm. it. Edda, was that her name? Edda? Edda. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, down on the it was Edda. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh yeah, and my 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 blade is actually a giant hammer, mm -hmm. um, and it's the hammer that she used as yep. a blacksmith. That's right. Yeah. Um. Her her personality is kind of crotchety and grumpy. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, my character goal to resolve a dispute. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get to that one in a second because there's actually yeah. been some changes to the character sheet in this too, which make it a little easier to manage. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's look though. You have, oh, you also have a oh, cave. I have, I have, have a, a cave, cave lion, lion, which we'll get to that because we're going to have to put the, um, they added a new thing with the character. Okay. Uh, but your bonds, so you have your ancestor, Edda, mm -hmm. and then we talked about Otani. Yep. Who, who is finding redemption for something. Yeah, yeah. Like there was some kind of like raid in a battle and you like you fought, you fought. Do we find out if it's a, is it's a Otani, a he or a she? Uh, don't know. Okay. It's so, a they. Yeah, yeah. So, so you fought them, and 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 you came to a mutual understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then the other one, the warden friend. Oh yeah. Um, that's Alden. Yeah. Alden. Alden. That's your. That, yeah, that's your bud. Yeah, that's my mm -hmm. my friend with with benefits. That's who, right. Mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, it does not like his uh, his spirit sword. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. It's a, re- a rival. It's not even your rival. Just the swords that the weapons are rivals the, to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. I mean, Alban and I get along perfectly fine. Obviously. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but your weapons yeah, are very generous, strong, but cautious person, which is mm-hmm. kind of not exactly how mm-hmm. Signy is. No. Uh, so they balance each other out nicely. That's right. Uh, but he lives in Grey Crag, mm-hmm. and he's also not bound to anyone. He's a oh, wandering yeah. warden. Yeah, he was a wandering warden too. Yes, I remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's flip back over to our sheets because I think we have there's there's some new stuff here. So if we pop our sheets open. If you go to a character sheet, mm-hmm. let's make these a little mirror. There we go. Okay, so for the character sheets, there's a new section here. So we already had the vows. Let's actually touch on the vows real quick. So what was what was Signe's vows? Um, see, there was one about resolving a dispute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you go to your character sheet, so if you open your Signe and then click on character sheet. Yeah. And then on the left hand side there should be the little thing for character sheet and then if you scroll down a bit yeah we didn't write it in i can see yours uh, for vows for signy it says improve relationship between iron sworn and the first landers. oh oh there it is okay mm-hmm. sorry and yes improve town. relationships between iron sworn and first landers which was a big build one. A, clan, a town for my clan epic it was epic. Oh, because epic. because your clan had been like scattered and wiped out, mm-hmm. and you yeah. know they're out there, but you have to go like, go find them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a big one. They got torn apart when we had the plague and had to move mm-hmm. through the contagion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah. And then... I want to bring them back together and mm-hmm. make my grumpy grandmother, great grandmother, mm-hmm. happy again. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then we have Albin has gone missing under suspicious circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. That was our inciting incident and I was gonna mm-hmm. be going along with you on that one. Okay. And then for boss, I have I have to find a way to heal Malia, my wife Malia, of mm-hmm. the uh, fouled blood sickness, which was extreme. And then I, I had I, I had convinced Signe to hear out Emlyn's offer, and I'm going to keep that. But I marked it as formidable. I feel like formidable is pretty is a pretty high bar. Like I'm just trying to convince you. Like just hey, just hear her out. So if if you're good, I'm going to pull that back to dangerous a little bit. Like we're just going to that's not yeah. formidable is pretty beefy. I'm just trying to get you to help me out here. Come you, on. You just want me to go to a place and talk to someone. Just come over here, talk to the lady, hear her out. Yeah. She's cool. You'll dig her. Okay, but I'm with you. Uh, but I, uh, boss is is with Signy because I'm trying mm-hmm. to I'm going to help you out, show you the the value uh, that we can bring to the table, and I'm going to help you try to uh, to find Albin here. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then if you go to uh, where it says assets, let me. So on your character sheet, if you go over to where it says assets. You can. Yeah, it's not doing anything for me. Hmm. I can't click it. Here, try closing it out again. Maybe it's doing the thing like where we had too many open and then it wasn't doing it. Oh, all right. Okay, I closed out everything except for just mine. Okay. Okay. So if you go to your character and then click character sheet and then click on assets, there should be a button for add. Yes. Here we go. Okay. okay. So here is where you can now select all the things. So. Ooh. You can choose the the things that we have, which uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember what the heck mine were. Uh, let's see here. I have a companion. People. Because that's my this. cave lion. We wrote this somewhere. I thought we wrote it somewhere. Character sheet. Is it on the character sheet somewhere, maybe? We picked our things, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did. I'm trying to remember, and I thought we wrote them down. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. It, it, I think mine is in my bio and info. Is it? Uh, yeah, must, I have I my assets my listed. Down. Blood magic. It's like I the think, first thing I have listed. Yeah, I think I think I just forgot to write them in there. That's okay. So I'll just I'll snag them real quick. So let me let me pop over to the the rule book here. Let's see here. Where would it be? That would be. So they have like, well, at least the companion one mm-hmm. has little boxes at the bottom, starting with zero and going up to plus four. Mm-hmm. That's the health. Oh. Because okay. your your uh, companion can get injured. 
Let's see here. So do they start at plus four or zero? Yeah. No, no, they start at full. They're fully, they're fully cool. But then why is it plus and not minus? Uh, because sometimes you'll uh, you'll have to roll on on your uh, companion's health track, and mm -hmm. then the higher it is, the higher uh, benefit that they have when they're rolling okay. for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I didn't have any companions. I think I had a path. I think it was. Hmm. What was I? I don't think it was an herbalist. Was I a ritualist? In service to an eldic, an elder mystic? Was that what I was doing? I don't think so. I'm trying to remember. Hmm. I know I had two of the the rituals. I know I had uh what was it like scry it was one where i can i can i can see people's things um, communion yep i had communion and divination those are the two rituals i had so let's i can get those in there at least so i had ritual i had communion mm-hmm and I had divination. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, because I can do the runes, and then I can talk with with recently de deceased intelligent creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, what was my last? Did you get yours all put in there? Um, almost. I have two of them in there. Okay, cool. Trying to figure out what this last one is. Mm -hmm. My blade bound. Is that, that's a path? Mm, yep, it was a path. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't a ritualist. Hmm. Oh, I rem I was empowered because I was a blood I was a blood uh, a blood reader. I could do the whole like I can claim my 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 rights of hospitality based on my title. That's what it was. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm empowered. Okay, let's put that in there. Cool. These are so cool. Okay, path. And empowered as a blood reader. Cool. Okay, so mine are, I have the Ritual of Communion, when I surround the remains of a recently deceased intelligent creature with lit candles, and I summon its spirit, I can roll heart, and um, on a strong hit, I can appear and I can talk to it. On a weak hit, it's problematic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I have Divination as a ritual, uh, when I take a drop of blood from a willing subject, not myself. And cast my uh, my 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 blood iron uh, runes that I have, the, like the magnetic mm -hmm. rune things that I have. <clears throat> I roll heart. On a hit, I can read to learn information. On a weak hit, it's problematic. And then empowered. When I sojourn, so when I connect with a community and I score a weak hit or a miss, I can claim my right of hospitality as a blood reader, and I have to roll. I get a roll again, and I add stuff. Um, but if I miss on that one, it's like really bad. It's really, really, yeah. really bad. Okay, cool. How about yours? I have a companion, which is a cave lion mm -hmm. and he's protective. So when I make camp, my cat is alert to trouble. And if I or an ally choose to relax, we take plus one spirit. If we focus, we take plus one momentum. Does your cave lion have a name? Borg. Borg. Yeah. I like it. Borg, Borg, Borg. Uh, and in fact, there is a place for a name. So, haha. Oh, perfect. Uh, and then I have a combat talent, Thunderbringer. 
Mm. When I strike a foe and score a strong hit, I take plus one momentum as I also knock them back, stun them, or put them off balance. Nice. Because again, giant hammer. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my path is blade bound. Mm. Uh, once I mark a bond with a kin blade and sentient weapon imbued with the spirit of my ancestor. Then when I gather information and fail to score a strong hit, I may listen to the whispers of my kin blade for guidance and re-roll any dice. Mm -hmm. And if I do, then I endure two stress. I like it. Oh, wait. Or did I take the inflict more harm? I thought you took the harm one. Yeah, I think I took the harm one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I inflict harm with my kin blade, I can inflict an additional two harm by enduring two stress. Oh, yeah. That was it. Yeah. And from my other game, I can definitely tell you being able to jack up the, the harm. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, so good. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so so I uh, so boss is with Signy, and are we setting off like maybe from like the last town, like that trade town that we were at? The um, where was it? The Gray Crag, where Albin was. Yeah, we're we're trying to follow the trail. Because we were trying to find him or something. Yes, because he's disappeared under suspicious mm -hmm. circumstances. Okay. Um, do we have do we have a lead at all? Or like do 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 you have kind of an idea of you know hey people are saying it's it's off in this direction it's it's in the the woods in between us and the elves or something like do we have a starting point to go on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in my investigations, I found out that he was supposed to be meeting with someone in mm -hmm. the woods, which is perfect. Usually, like maybe where we might get a job, but it's also kind of sketchy. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Super sketch. I like it. Okay, mm -hmm. so so it sounds like maybe we just need to start undertaking a a journey just to go to that spot. So yeah. let's let's do that. So if you open your character sheet, and then yep. you go to progress next to character sheet. Okay. There should be a button for add there. There is. Mm -hmm. So let's add one in. And then you can go ahead and type in the name of our journey. So we're gonna go to super sketch meeting place in the forest. That's actually what I am typing. Do it. Journey to Super Sketch Meeting Place in the Forest. I dig it. And this is this is pretty close by. Like it's not that far away. So so yeah. we'll just mark it as troublesome, like the first one. So just go ahead and mark mm -hmm. it as troublesome. Okay. And uh, and I I don't know like boss. I, I don't know how to get to this place. So this is gonna be. I think you're gonna have to lead us there. You're gonna have to yeah. get us on our way. So um, do you happen to have the PDFs, the rule PDFs? If you don't, I can I can still just tell you what happens, but. I don't think I have access on this. It's totally fine. So no. what you're gonna do is we're gonna undertake a journey. So okay. we've already we've we've established where we're gonna go, uh, and then we're going to. This is a troublesome journey. So every time that we get to mark progress, um, you get to mark three progress. You get to mark three of the hash hash marks on there. Uh, and what we're gonna do is um, for each segment of the journey, you're gonna roll plus wits. And if you're setting off from a community with which you share a bond, which you do mm -hmm. at least. Your first roll, you get to add plus one. So what you're going to do is you're going to, on your character sheet, mm -hmm. right, where you just click on the little dice above the wits. You see where okay. it says like wits, whatever the number is. So yeah. click on that. And then with a modifier, you're going to put a one in there because you have you have a bond with this community. Cool. And let's see, uh, let's see what you get. A weak hit. Cool. So on a weak hit, for undertaking oh, journey. Oh, that's it all for you. That's so weird. Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? So cool. Okay. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. On a weak hit, uh, we reach a waypoint, and you get to mark progress, but you suffer. We, because we share a supply, uh, we suffer one supply. So we, we have to lower our supply. Did we from... start with? We always start with full supply. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can just, since we share it, you and I will both reduce our supply from a plus five to a plus four. Okay. Where is that? Uh, it's on your character sheet. If you scroll okay. down a little bit, it's uh, underneath your health and spirit on the right hand side. Okay. Let me let me resize this so I don't have mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can see see a bit more of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, supply. There we go. Okay, you so instead of five, it. I move it down to a four. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and we share it. So whenever we whenever we drop supply, we both drop supply since they're party okay. supplies. And we mark progress. It said. Yeah, you mark progress. So on your little um, on your uh, on your sheet, you know where it yeah. has the progress thing. You just put three full hashes, uh, three full hash marks. To, ooh, okay. So this is on the the progress area, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're we're on our way. So so we reach kind of a waypoint. What's this first waypoint? Do you have any? Do you have anything in mind of like? This is a spot that we, you know, on the road towards getting there or on the path to getting oh, there. Oh, it's um, it's one of the places of power. Oh fuck! Just right off the bat, huh? Yep. That's glorious. Yeah. So it's, so we get to this. You place. know, it's in, a, it's in a, a large, open meadow mm. within this forested area. Mm. So it's naturally a place that people would stop, but it just happens to be a place where it has some of these ruins. Mm. Mm -hmm. I dig it. Yeah. yeah. While um, while we're uh, yeah, go ahead. So I'm, I'm looking at the drop down for it, and I don't know which one is a full mark. There's a minus, a plus, a asterisk, and a hashtag. It's, it's the full hashtag. The full hashtag. Mm -hmm. Okay. You so three it. of those. Uh, yep, three full hashtags. Sweet. Mm -hmm. okay. Now I've got it. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is is this a is this a heavily path? Like I'm imagining there's probably not a lot of people that go out this way. Like maybe some. It's probably not no, totally it, it's empty. It's probably but... just like um, hunters and trackers. Okay, okay. But the further we go out, the the yeah. more the more wonky this is gonna get and and yeah. super sketch. Okay. Yeah, the less traveled it will be. I dig it. Okay, so we're we're on the path. Okay, so um so now we're gonna continue on. Uh, and why don't you go ahead and just have us um why don't you why don't you roll your wits again? But this time you you don't get to add anything. It's just flat Auto out. Modifier. You just get what you get. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. That's right. Ooh, we hit again. There you go. Okay, so oh, so matching doesn't get you it. You have to mm -hmm. exceed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we make progress again, which is good, but our supply goes down again. So like as we're going through here, you know, you know, maybe we're just having to clear through some of the forests and stuff and we're having to, you know, chop some things down. And this is this is now maybe starting to get heavier work. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're we're drinking through our supplies and we're having a snack as we go and um yeah, so just so you're going to mark your your supply down to a 3. It already changed it for me. I, it's because I thought I was doing it on my sheet and I accidentally did it on yours. Oh, well, my bad, go. my bad. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, so, so we're going through in this area is, um, is, is there, hold on a second. We're going to, we're going to do a thing. Mm. Um, do me a favor. Give me a, give me a D 100. This feels like, like, like a, like a place before we get to the real place. I'm going to, we're going to roll for like a little, a little location, a little point of interest. Yep. What do you got? 89. 89. Uh, this is like a, like a small mountain. Ooh. So, so maybe, maybe there's like a, you know, before we get into the, into the woods itself, there's like, you know, this little path that we have to take as we're, as we're going up a little bit. Yeah. And this is like maybe the safer path, the safer path that takes us into, um, you know, that takes us into, into the forest itself, uh, mm -hmm. and, and helps us to avoid some of the, um, some of the, the beasts and creatures that live in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Hey, before so so boss turns Signy before we go and before we go any further and and boss says, "Hey, listen, so I know you got this thing and you're doing great, but I just noticing my my pack's getting a little bit light. If you don't mind, I'd like to just take a little bit of time. Just, you know, as we're going, we won't slam knock slow you down, but uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to look around for some things real quick, just, you know, kind of scavenge as we go, you know, just to make sure we're we're all we're all topped up, ready for whatever whatever we're going to run into." If that's if that's cool to you, as long as that's cool to you. If you're, cause I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to hamper what you got. I'm not trying to get in your way. I'm in, I'm I'm actually gonna I'm just gonna be over here and do it anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Here we yep. go. Yep, that's um that's pretty much what she does anyway. So. Uh huh. You're like uh huh uh huh yeah 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 yeah. Can you go? Yeah. Now? Okay. Let's, Let's come on. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm doing a resupply. So I'm going to hunt, forge, and scavenge. So I'm going to roll mm. I'm gonna roll some wits here. Let's see here. My wits is super high. Let's see. Oh, strong hit. Look at that. Boom. Nice. And um, we get plus two supply. So, yeah, as we're going through, maybe I'm just, um, you know, there's um, – let's see. We're up on a mountain. We're coming through. You know, I'm, I'm imagining, like, there's, like – 
you know, there's like berries, like as like berry bushes as we're going down. And this is, this is still pretty nice. Uh, it's like the in-between place between, you know, where, where the shitty land we live in is in, mm -hmm. in all like stone crag and, and Mornhaven and all these really terrible names we have from our town. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the forest that we're going into. So now it's like, you know, it's starting to get more bountiful. It's dangerous up ahead, but, but for now, yeah. you know, like we, I can, we can pack up our, our, um, our bag with like berries and, and acorns and stuff like that. Sweet. So our supply is up to a plus five. Oh, both of ours. Mm-hmm. Sweet. As we go. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, but hey, I, I think you should just you should bring us home here. We're already at um we're at six progress in now. I think on yeah. the journey. So so he, we have some options here. If you want, you can you can just say you know what I think I think we're here, and then you can just roll against the progress we have, or we can try to make one more leg of the journey, and it'll just increase our chances that when we get there, we'll be in a really good place. But I'll leave it up to Signe. What happens if we roll too soon and we don't make it? So the the way that the roll works is that um, when you're when you're arriving to a location, and yeah. it's the same mechanics by the way when you're finishing a quest, one of your iron vows, is instead of rolling like you know the d6 and then adding your stat like you normally would, mm -hmm. um, what you do is you actually don't roll anything. The d6 plus the stat that you would normally get is just your progress marks. So right now we have like six progress marks, so it's like you roll the six. And then what you do is you roll your 2d10 like you normally would, and uh -huh. then you compare your progress to those 2d10. So if you have a 6, it's like you just rolled a total of a 6. And so it's like a little bit, mm, not sure if you're going to do great. But if we you do... make it lower <laughs> than what you roll. You Well, no, no. You want your... What you're rolling, you want it... Well, you want the 2d10s to be lower than whatever your 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 own thing you're doing is. So like for, okay. for journey, it'd be lower than a six, right? It'd now. have to be lower. It has to be lower than a six. Okay. So it's a little dicey. So we want to get it maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, because one more jacks it up to a nine, and then a nine yeah. is, you know, unless we roll tens. Pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Cool. So why don't you why don't you lead us on? Let's uh, All right. take us bring us home here, Signe. Let's get another let's get another wits roll. My awesome wits. Damn right. Okay, we're gonna head over the tiny mountain. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another week hit. That's good. We still mark progress, well, and uh, and our supply goes down again. So now we're to four, so, but it's good. You know, we're chomping on some of our berries. You know, we're mm -hmm. the, <clears throat> coming over that hill. It was a little bit rough because that's uh, it's a bit steep coming up. But you know, a little bit of safety yeah. goes a long way. Yeah. So as as we're coming up to maybe the end point, what does this what does this look like? Signy totally knows this stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, this is getting into like the old forest. So mm. the tree trunks are starting to get like a lot wider. There's a lot more moss. It's more damp. It's mm. darker. Uh, definitely getting into an area where you need to be an experienced warrior mm -hmm. if you're going to come to this area. Yeah. Which is kind of a strange place to be meeting uh, someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's quiet. I, I bet there's probably nobody around here. Mm -mm. yeah oh and like maybe that's part of the thing is like as we're coming in like usually there's like the sounds of the forest but of course we're i mean at least boss is not good mm -hmm. at you know at moving quietly through the forest <clears throat> so as we come in here it's getting like real quiet because everything fucking hears boss stomping mm -hmm. around yeah yeah okay so yeah so mark your progress and you're up to okay. you should be up to nine. a nine now right so I, yeah let's let's bring this thing home so you're going to click on that thing um and how do we do Oh, wow. Holy shit, really? The worst possible. <laughs> Not only a 10, but double okay. tens. So, so when you so normally this would just be a miss, which is bad enough. But when you get doubles and yeah. a miss, it's it's not just a miss, it's an ultra it's bad miss. Good. It's a it's super good. turbo bad miss. Okay, so let's see here. So when we complete our journey, reach our destination, on a miss, you've gone hopelessly astray, your objective is lost to you, or you were misled about your destination. Oh. I you know what? I think it's that I think it's that ladder. And then if oh, your yeah. journey I, I think we've been misled and there's somebody else waiting for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um yeah. yeah, yeah. So 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 we can make this like really like is this a trap? This is a this is a this is a fucking trap, isn't it? Yep. It's totally a trap. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So so let's see here. Do do you have somebody in mind who who you think what this trap would be, or should we should we um should we turn to the oracles and and make a roll and see what this is all about? Let's ask the oracles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, thinking Signe's kind of oblivious to what other people think about her mm-hmm. or what she does. Mm-hmm. Do we think these are? Uh, if we want, we can keep this. We can keep this a little simpler, and we can say, like, do you think? Do you think it's likely that the people who are about to be springing this trap on us are humans, or are they, or are they elves? Like, hmm. Probably more likely to be human. So it's more likely to be. So it's likely that they're humans. Yeah. Okay. So give us give us a d give us a d one hundred, and we're gonna check to see if it's if it's a twenty six or higher. I think that's what it is. I'm gonna check right now. Yeah, yeah. If it's twenty six or higher, it's humans. It's fifty seven. It's definitely humans. Yeah. So so this is this is probably like some people from um you know from the town like maybe a small little group of bandits. Mm-hmm. from his town and remember he was i think from your sheet he was all about the um like the status quo and so maybe this was like this little band of brigands that were trying to do their own their own little thing and and uh and what was his name aiden alden 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 was was screwing that up uh causing some problems so i think i think maybe we ran into we well, so I was thinking that maybe this doesn't have anything to do with Alden at all. Oh. We just found out I was asking about him, and they have a beef with me. Oh. So they fed false information to get me somewhere. I like it. They're like, oh, it's over there. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. He, he totally went this way. You should go to that spot at this time, right? Right. Mm-hmm. As the sun is cresting. The, yeah. Right there. You'll be mm-hmm. right there. Cool. Okay. So this is somebody who doesn't like you. Yeah. Okay. So let let so give me a D100. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna do a couple of D100s. We're gonna find out who this person is. Let's get a name first. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. This is Althus. We have Althus, the Turbo Fuck. Let's write this <laughs> down. Legends and people. Let's get on a start writing this down so we have it. People. All this, the turbo so fuck. People. Mm-hmm. All this. Okay, and um, let's get another D100 for who this person is. Like, do, do we think that they're a... Uh, we'll just roll it, and we'll see. Nine. A nine? A guide. Uh, it's right next to a bandit, if we think that a bandit is more... Uh, no, no, I think guide is interesting. Okay, okay. Did you piss off a guide, Signy? I mean, I don't know. Is this is this somebody who you paid to to take you somewhere? Is this somebody who paid to take you you paid to take them somewhere and then and then you just fucking like ditched him? You ditched Althus in the fucking forest, and now he's like missing part of his arm. He's a guide. It'll make it easier to fight him. <laughs> well, but maybe not his buds that he has with him. Okay. Mm. Okay. And then let's let's figure yeah. out. So why is why is this person pissed at you? I feel like we need. Let's see here. There's there's an action and some a yeah, action and a theme. Give me two D one hundred, and we're gonna throw out an action and theme and see if we can make it work. Okay. Got a fifty nine. Okay, fifty nine is so it's a take. And what's a theme? A forty five. Forty five take and danger. So the action. So the reason they're mad at you is that it's the action was take. And the theme was danger. Did you take something? And and then this brought like real real bad danger on all this. What did you do, Signy? Mm. What did you take that brought pain and suffering on all this? That's a good question. Let's see. What would I be doing with a guide? Because I wouldn't need one because she wanders, so. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm. Um, we were we were gambling in a bar, and I won. He didn't have anything to pay, so he gave me his sword, saying that he would come back tomorrow and give me money. But by the time he came back, I was gone. You already wow. Okay. Judy okay. Cole. Yep. In a gambling, in a, in a mm-hmm. game of chance. Yeah. So he wants a sword back, but unfortunately, you know, I don't really have it anymore. I don't hold a lot of things. <laughs> I kind of sold it, maybe. Yeah. 
for things. Or just threw it away because it was shit. Okay. There's my hammer. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so is this? So this is probably Althus because this is this is problematic. Like maybe if it was just by itself, maybe it would just be Althus. Um, but but we rolled a pretty terrible complication. So maybe this is Althus and like some Pete, some of his buds, some mm -hmm. of his guide buds. Um, maybe or, they don't like me because I've been taking away some of their uh, <clears throat> their business by being in town a little more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friend. Yeah, and and maybe you played some other games of chance with them too, and and all this has convinced them that that you're you know some kind of dirty cheat. Yeah. And you're a terrible person. Yeah, yeah. It's not my fault that their lives are shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Absolutely. So 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 I'll, here I'll I'll do Altus for you. So Altus is is looking at you and he's like, Hey Signy, where's my fucking sword? Who are you again? I'm I'm my I'm Altus. I'm I'm the guide. Remember? I I was we we played that game. It was only. A couple weeks ago, and you, 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 you cheated me out of my sword. That was my family sword. It was an, it was an heirloom. And and I'm here to get it back. Anything. Sorry. Well, you know what? If I can't get my sword back, I think I think maybe I'll just take I'll just take whatever you have. And maybe <laughs> maybe all this and his and his people are starting to come to come to come at us. Mm, okay. Yeah, I will meet them with force. Oh, you're just <laughs> you're just gonna throw down. You're just yeah. like, okay, that's cool, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you now. Yeah, uh, they're stupid enough to come at at me. Yeah. I'm gonna teach them a lesson. I dig it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here <clears throat> is we're going to we're getting into a fight. Mm. We're getting into a ruckus. Okay, so go on your character sheet. Go to progress. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new progress. Okay. And we're going to call it a uh, fight. Fight with Altus and the boys. And I, I think I think you're going to fight Altus and the boys. Well, we're all going to fight Altus and the boys, but we're going to fight them separate. We're going to fight them separately. So we're we're going to be we're going to be um fighting like maybe there's one group that comes after you and there's a group that comes after me. Well, it sounds like a group that comes <clears throat> after me and like one guy that goes after you. Yeah, that sounds a little more like it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you're fighting Altus and the boys. And mm -hmm. I'm and I'm fighting I'm fighting oh, Tagalong. Yeah, I'm fighting Tagalong boy. Yeah. Althus is fight with Althus. This is Tagalong boy. I like it. Yep. Yeah. So my fight is troublesome, and I think mm -hmm. your fight is dangerous. <laughs> just be just because there's a lot of them. There's just, there's yeah. a lot of them about. Okay. So you're gonna click on I'll dangerous. Fighting style to mm -hmm. fight a mob. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're used to this. I'm not. Okay, so I I think we just get into it. So so this is this this is a throwdown. So what we're gonna do is this is a combat. So we're gonna we're gonna enter the fray. So we're both gonna enter the fray, and um, and the way this works is it's very similar to like a journey. Every time that you mark harm against them, uh -huh. so you're doing dangerous. Every harm you do, you mark two progress. Okay. But if they end up harming you then they will mark two, you, you will take two harm when they harm you. So you have to be careful here. Okay. Um, and then for my troublesome, my only, only my troublesome foe, I get to mark three harm because I'm only dealing with the one. Yeah. Um, and then it only does one harm to me. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's see. First, we're going to roll to determine who's in control. Um, so I think you're just going to roll straight up since you're the one who's launching into combat here. And I, okay. I'm not even going to roll for boss. So you're going to go ahead and roll against your, uh, your heart. Cause you're just throwing down on them. Okay. Do I get anything for being the first one? You totally don't. Ooh, mm -mm. That's really ridiculous. Super sad about it. Oh, look, I missed. Really? I'm, I'm not rolling well. Well done. Well, <laughs> well done. Okay, let's yeah. see. So on a miss, combat begins with you at a disadvantage. So maybe like you know you, you bust out your hammer and you're like, oh, I'm gonna fucking take you guys down. This is nothing. The problem is like they knew this was gonna happen, and so like they're just swarming you, which is which is a problem. Yeah. Um, you're gonna pay the price, and your foe has initiative. So I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find out how the how the foe is coming after you, how they're gonna really push things. So let's find out what they're gonna try to do here. Um, is it obvious? Like, are they just going to try to bum rush you and just attack you? No, I think maybe they, like they want to make me suffer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's they do this. I want to see it. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and give me a D one hundred, and we're going to check with the combat action. They're the whole oracle for what what they're going to do. 
Let's see what I they I love do. the oracles. They're it's great. It's so good. 67. 67. They're going to uh, leverage the advantage of a weapon or ability. Oh, they've brought something here because they knew that you I'm had terrible. this. You were, you were turbo badass. They have something. Like, what do they have that's going to just even the odds? Do they are yeah. they gonna throw like a have, meta like, you a or something? Warrior. Oh, like from from back behind, they're like, hey, 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 we knew this is coming, and then like you know, an actual real yeah. fighter dude comes at you. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. With a giant shield to block the hammer attacks. Wow. Okay. Does this jack up your um your 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 dude bros even more? Like. I don't think so because the dude bros are like guides and drunkards. So you know what the dude that you're fighting that's 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 dangerous is this dude. Like they're not coming at you. They brought the shield bro to attack you. So they're not coming to attack you. Shield bros gonna come to attack you. Shield bro. Yeah, yeah. and so everybody else is like, yeah, we're gonna get in, but like they're totally not because they know that you would yeah. just cave so their goddamn heads in. Down and then they'll come and kick. And in. then they'll come in. Absolutely. Okay. So shield bro is coming at you, and he has like this gi big giant shield. Uh, and, and he's going to like, he's going to press his advantage, um, in this surprise moment. So yeah. So, so Signy, what do you do here? And, and by the way, mechanics wise, when you don't have the advantage or when you have, we don't, when you don't have initiative, mm -hmm. um, the, the NPCs or whatever the danger is, has the initiative. And then you're basically on the reactive. You're on the reactive. Yeah. 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 You have to like face the danger and create some kind of opportunity so you can do something. Um, so, so what, so Signy, what are you doing here? Cause he's coming after you. Oh, um, and there's lots of things you can do. You can like, you can try to face the danger and, you know, do something else. You could try to create an opportunity. You can like, you get to use all the normal moves that you would normally do. Yeah. You can look for information. You can where are all the moves, uh, you can face danger, secure an advantage, gather information. Uh, and then I think you want to try and secure an advantage. Mm, and what what kind of advantage would you like to secure? I think she she definitely wants to take the initiative back. Mm -hmm. How so? so? She's on the offensive. Mm -hmm. um, I think she she's just going to go for like a huge strike to hopefully try and knock him back and get him off balance. Oh, so you actually want to attack the the shield bro. Okay. So you can attack the shield bro when you don't have initiative, but if you don't, it's a clash, so you're meeting and you're both attacking, and that mm -hmm. can be risky because you can take like when you don't have the initiative, you could get hurt. So would you like to find out how that how that works? Yeah, let's, let's do it. it. Cool. So you are going to clash. Yeah. I like it. I like it. So when your foe has the initiative and you fight with them in close quarters, absolutely roll iron. So so give us a give us an iron roll. All right. You have high iron, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. Yeah. And okay. Signy dies, and now we have to create another character. Okay, <laughs> so on a miss, you are outmatched, and you must pay the price. Your foe has the initiative, so you don't even inflict harm. So, so yeah, so so you just get like you just get like freaking pummel. What kind of a weapon does this thing does this does this uh, shield bro have? We we definitely know he has a shield, but what um what kind yeah. of weapon? Uh, he probably has like a fat dirk. Oh yeah yeah yeah. He so needs to, like up close, but. Yeah. No. So how do how do you get poked hard with this with this dirk? Hmm. Uh, well, you know, I have a giant hammer. You do. So as I swing, I inevitably leave my side open, Big time. and he is able to block <sighs> and just get me right there. You get jammed in the side with a dirk. Okay. So yeah. you so you take because we've said that this is a dangerous foe. So you so take, take two harm. I'm down to three. So you're three, and you have to make a roll. So you are going to uh, roll to see how you um, how you take this hit. So you're suffering. You're making a suffer move. You're enduring harm. So you are gonna. Um, let's see here. You can either roll your health or your iron, which is which whichever is higher right now. They're exactly the same. Then it doesn't matter which one you do. You know, I rolled my iron and it didn't do so well. Let's roll the health and see. Let's... It'll if totally be better. Luck. Let's see if you can roll lower than a seven on your tens. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, on a miss, you also suffer minus one momentum. So 
Uh, go into your character sheet on the left hand side. It's probably at a plus two right now. Yeah. You're just so gonna lower it. One. Yeah. You don't need momentum. Momentum is useless. It's not. <laughs> yeah. 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 So so um so so while Signy is being pushed by this thing, uh, let, let's get Boss in the mix here. H how is um how is the stable boy coming at me? Because he doesn't want to be left out, of course. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, he he probably was brought along and not really told the whole plan. Mm -hmm. And and so he just went towards the 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 the, the, the weaker looking one, not mm -hmm. realizing that there was this uh, big shield guy who was actually mm -hmm. going to take care of all the the dirty business. Um, so I'm guessing he, he has like a subpar weapon and he's just kind of like, ah. Yeah. So he's, so he's coming out like, like with, with a cudgel or something. Yeah. Okay. Which is cool. Cause I have like a walking stick. I have this real shit mm -hmm. walking stick. I still have the, the picture that's over here, you yeah. know, and I don't use it as a weapon cause that's holding my, uh, you know, my really cool, um, you know, metal oh, thing. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I actually would probably like put it on the ground. So I, like I'll, I'll, I'll like I place it on the ground behind me, and then and then boss, I take out like my knife, and I'm just trying. Like I have this tiny little knife, and it's more like for cutting up food and for eating mm -hmm. than really hurting somebody. Um, yeah. And as this guy comes at me, um, you know what I'm gonna do? Like there, there's a bunch of like in these because you already said it, like the big old trees and stuff. I'm gonna yeah. try to like lose him behind these trees. So I'm gonna. I'm I'm gonna like try to sneak behind some trees and lose them back there, which is nice. so gonna go well because I'm telling you right now my high stat is not shadow, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna try to get sneaky on this one. So I'm gonna roll, and what I'm doing is I'm trying to secure an advantage. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Hey, look at that! I rolled a two, <laughs> and I still got a one on my d10. I'll take it. Okay, so I'm trying to secure an advantage. Let's take a look here with deception, stealth, or trickery. Uh, on a weak hit, my advantage is short-lived, and uh, I still get to take plus one momentum. So, so maybe I start boss starts to lose him behind, um, you know, behind the trees and stuff. <clears throat> you know, but he's starting to catch up to me. But at least nobody else is really paying attention to me because, like, there's these two totally incompetent fighters that are like <laughs> running around a tree, Monty Hall style. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, but I do get a momentum, so I get to bump it up to a three. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Mechanics-wise, th the way that you get advantage so that you can act and take the initiative and not not be under reaction mode all the time is you just have to make a roll um, that will uh, that will get a strong hit. And as soon as you get a strong hit, you have secured the initiative. But until then, you're being pushed. So I, I think now, I think we go back over to Signy and, and Shield Bro. I think what Shield Bro is trying to do is Shield Bro is actually trying to like knock you down because if because if Shield Bro can get Signy on the ground, way yeah. less way less dangerous. It's because you can't really wield that hammer effectively from the ground. So so mm -hmm. what is Signy going to do as this uh, as a Shield Bro tries to knock Signy down? Uh... Then remember, you can you can try to secure advantages. You can try to face the danger, and and it's always good to try to say like, hey, what's my best stat? Like, my best stat is yours is iron, iron. right? Yeah. I hit him more. Yeah. So I mean, you, so you, so Signy could be like, I'm gonna try to face the danger, you know, with my iron and my, you know, and you know, I'm a warrior and I do this all the time. I'm gonna like try to roll this thing off, and then you could use your iron as your thing, as an example. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think she's gonna, <clears throat> she's gonna wait for his attack, mm -hmm. and try and, I don't know, like block the attack and get the advantage to then take mm -hmm. hers. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you're so you're, trying to, you're gonna set set it up for something that's gonna be good for you. Yeah. Okay. So you're, oh, so it sounds like instead of facing danger, you're trying to secure an advantage, really. Um. Well, no, no. no I, I would say this is face danger because you're trying to basically redirect the uh, an attack. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you're using it with 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 a, you know forceful defense. Yeah. Yeah. That's iron. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll your iron. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. You do. You, you're doing so well, Signy. You're doing so well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So face yeah, danger. I'll talk. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a powerful warrior. Um. So on a on a miss. And by the way, don't forget your abilities. So th there's a couple things you might be I forgetting. I have to hit. <laughs> so you well you have your abilities like you have your you have your cave your cave lion. You've Which got. Is always useful for when I make camp. <laughs> 
Oh, well, no, it, no, that's not true, because you can still use your cave lion, and you can use it as a, you know, in the fiction. And then you have you have other things, too, right? Like, right? You, you have something, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Maybe? No? If I hit, I can do extra damage and take an extra momentum. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, cool. So on your on your miss, you fail or your progress is undermined by a dramatic and costly turn of events. <laughs> Paid the price. I, you know, so so I'm I'm envisioning Signy like, oh, I'm totally gonna like turn the tide and I'm gonna make this. Oh, I'm gonna redirect. You don't redirect shit. What what Signy gets redirected is her ass gets redirected onto the ground. It sure seems like that's the case. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I like it. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, boss, boss was here to help Signy and show Signy that um, that I could be of value. And so what Boss is gonna do is Boss. Now that I've like run this dude around the tree and kind of got him lost a little bit, you know, the yeah. the, the the goober dude is what yeah. what Boss does is that Boss. I'm actually storm up i like walk confidently up to this um to this guy uh the shield bro and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stand him down and look at him and i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to in intimidate him with my with my presence um because my guy's actually really good at uh at at conveying this presence it, it's his presence of his station so what i'm doing is i'm coming up and i'm i'm i'm, I'm showing my, my you know the, the the colors of my of my station you know mm -hmm. i have like these these like blood tattoos on me and to show Ooh. and so okay. I'm like st I'm like stepping behind you and letting him see this is what he is fucking with and this is a terrible idea. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to secure an advantage, um, again gaining leverage, and I'm using it with um, uh, with with courage and presence. I'm using my heart, uh, which is my highest skill, and hopefully that will help. Okay. Hasn't helped me so far, but mm -hmm. apparently the dice just hate me tonight. Well, we're going to try it. Here we go. So we're going to do... Oh, I don't get any modifiers. Do it. <sighs> Man. Strong it. So good. Yeah, yeah. So... This is rolling well. Yeah, yeah. And I was doing this to aid you. So basically to set you up for an opportunity. Um, yeah. To, to set up Signy. So what this does is while it was securing advantage, really what it was, it was the, um, where is it, aid your ally. So aid your ally, when you secure an advantage in direct support of an ally, which we did, and you score a hit, they, instead of you, can take the benefits of the move. And if you're in combat, which we are, and you score a strong hit, which we did, then you and your ally, we both have initiative. So you get whatever it is that the secure advantage is. So let's see here, on a strong hit, you can make another move now, and you get a plus one to that move. Sweet! I am going to hit him with my hammer. Yeah, just fucking smite this dude. Yeah, I, I notice that he's no longer looking at me, he's looking mm -hmm. at you, and um, yeah, I just pick it up and swing it like 360 around to get really good momentum and oh, hit him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna do a strike. You have the initiative, and you're gonna attack in close quarters. So you're gonna roll your iron, plus one. Uh huh. Okay. And you're gonna add a plus one modifier, and then you're gonna roll super high on your d10s. With a weak hit. A weak. Hey, that's still good. It's a hit. That's a hit. That's a weak hit. So. I just take progress, right? Well, here's what's cool. So on a weak hit, you inflict you you're gonna inflict your full harm, but you will mm -hmm. lose initiative. But who, who cares? You inflicted your full harm. Yeah. So what is your harm? Like normally a hammer is any any major weapon does two two harm. Yeah. And then you have like some bonuses, don't you? From your moves and stuff or from your from your abilities? Um so one of them is only when I score a strong hit. Oh. Um uh, but the other one just says when you inflict harm, mm -hmm. you may inflict two additional harm. Wow. And if you do, you endure two stress. Would you like so, to stress yourself out? I, I, yes, I am going to do that. Yeah. What, what is that move called, by the way? Uh, that's my blade bound move. Oh, so how does this stress you? Like, does this have something to do with like your your ancestor that's in there? How does this stress yeah. stress Signy out? Um, I think it stresses me out because in order to do that extra harm, like she momentarily takes control of me. Oh no, Grandma. To, yeah, to add like that extra like mm -hmm. oomph because you know she has those really good mm -hmm. blacksmith muscles mm -hmm. and like all those years of like oh. 
doing the hammer. So it. it's just like being pushed aside within mm -hmm. your body for a few moments and then being snapped back. Yeah, yeah. Or you take like a back seat. Ooh, that's cool. I dig it. Okay. So you do four harm. And since this is a, a dangerous foe, you get to mark two progress for every harm you do. So you get to mark eight full hash marks. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you want, you can, you've lost the initiative, but if you, if you think you have enough progress to do it, you can try to end that fight right now. Like you can just try to shut it down. You know what? Because I've been doing so well, <laughs> do it. I think you should do it. I think you should do it. So go ahead and mark your eight check mark, your eight check marks, yep. and then you're and then gonna push the button, and you're gonna see how you do. Okay, we can't. Okay, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> End the fight on a weak hit. Um, it's the same as a strong hit. So the foe is no longer in the fight. They are killed out of action, flee or surrender as appropriate to the situation and your intent. Um, but you're also going to have to choose, you have to choose one of these. So it's worse than you thought, and you're going to endure harm. You're overcome, and you're enduring stress. Um, it's short-lived, and a new danger pops up. Uh, or you suffer collateral damage. Something is broken, like you lose something that's important to you. Um, you're going to pay for it. An objective falls out of reach, or others won't forget. You're marked for vengeance. Uh, okay, so two of those. Yeah. Well, first, is this guy gonna die? Is it, does does Hildebro die? Or do yes. you humble? He's he's getting his head caved, his head caved in, or his like chest yep. caved in, even worse. Yeah. No, he his his chest caved in. What does that look like when Signy ends this thing? Oh, like blood splatter. Oh, nice. Like all over the guys in the circle, all over me. Mm -hmm. um, boss happens to be just out of range. Mm-hmm. Oh, boss would be fine with it. Boss is fine with blood. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, boss gets hit, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, boss is all just standing there. Cool. But what's what's the penalty that uh, that Signy takes here? What's the downside? It can be harm. It can be stress. It can be vengeance. Lost something. Lost an opportunity. So I'm thing? caught between the stress and the vengeance. Mm. The stress because of, you know, having to, like, maybe the grandmother doesn't want to let go. Mm. Or the vengeance because, you know, they wanted they already wanted vengeance and now I have embarrassed them again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do the let's do the vengeance one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do vengeance. Okay. Okay. You're marked. They won't forget. Maybe maybe they just bail. They just they yeah. just dip out because they're just done. They, they bail while yelling behind them. We'll get you. Yeah. Don't uh -huh. you, you see? They're gonna remember. They're gonna cause problems. I'm watching you. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you write that down. There, these these guys are gonna come back. Althus, no, less less of the boys, but definitely Althus is gonna remember. Yes. Okay. I dig it. Yeah. So I'm done. I'm 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 not even gonna. I'm gonna remove my my progress because that thing is that thing is gone. It's gone now. Goodbye. Cool. Okay. Let's remove that. It's done. Cool. Give me one second. I hear one of the kiddos, and then I'm going to come back. I have an idea of what we're going to do with this dead body, by the way. <laughs>